Hey, is Shane there? Yeah, Shane speaking. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, Mike? How you doing, dude? Shit. Oh, yeah? Hey, man, I just wanted to call and say thanks to you and your crew for hooking me up on these top plates. I know when I get them in my hands and put them on the printer, they're just going to put it over the top. Oh, man, no problem, dude. This is going to be so awesome. I can't wait to see how it's going to look. I know it, bro. I know it. Well, hey, man, do me a favor. Yeah, what's up? Let's give the people a little shop tour. All right, man. Check this out. All right, so <clears throat> this is the 3D printer workroom right here. This is my desk. Little test area. Doing some uh, some experiments on the Duet Wi-Fi. Here's my little uh, 3D printer build area. Got my 3D distributed banner on the wall. Let's see. Working on building another workhorse printer right here. Uh, got a brand new frame. Waiting on the machine components. I have the uh, original workhorse printer right there, printing something up right now. Here's a little uh, prototype machine that I'm working on. Uh, this right here is actually a prototype of a Core XY build we're doing. Um, so basically, we'll be taking the, the basic workhorse printer and uh, pretty much we're gonna do the same concept, except we're not gonna use lead screw. Uh, we're gonna have a belt driven, basically large scale core XY printer. Uh, we're looking to get about, at about 600 millimeter by 400 by 400 millimeter build area. This is a little, little prototype we're working on. These boxes right here actually have a bunch of Misumi extrusion uh, for the 600 by 600 millimeter workhorse, the workhorse XL. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. This is our newest CNC. This is a uh, this is another Haas lathe. It's got a 10 inch chuck. Got a uh, horizontal turret. It's kind of weird. Never seen one. I didn't even know it existed until Haas pointed it out in the catalog. So, um, so this is a horizontal turret, and um, it uses these tools. It's not the not the best turret design, but um, we're happy to have a other lathe and turret. So we're not we're not complaining. Let's say uh, Haas TL1. It's got 12 horsepower. 10 inch chuck, I think it's got a, I don't remember, like a 20 inch swing or something. Not not that we actually swing that big. Uh, we kind of max out like 14 inches. We, we could swing the bigger parts if we uh, put custom jaws on it. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, so this is our lathe. This is our first CNC lathe. It's a little dirty right now. That's because uh, we use it. We, we use the hell out of this lathe. Uh, this lathe, is actually a tool post and we don't have a turret on this one that, that was one of the issues when we first got this lathe was uh, we, we were just happy to get CNC but um the way it works close the door and you hit cycle start these are the controls right here this is the e-stop this is how you turn it on this is how you turn it off this is how you hit cycle start and it actually starts running the program. This is how you switch to different programs. Um, this is how you edit the program. So you can come over here, edit, and you can type in all kinds of code or whatever, whatever script you want to do. But I love this lathe. It's our first lathe. It's our first CNC lathe. Uh, I actually had a manual. 
running these parts right now. This is uh, Delrin, and it looks like it's it looks like it's snowing, but you get the idea. This is uh, this is what happens after we cut bar stock. When we're through um, through making finished products, um, we're left with uh, a whole lot of shavings. These are steel shavings, magnetic. We also have uh, shavings um, buckets. We keep uh, aluminum, stainless steel. This is uh, this is stainless steel right here. I think it's magnetic stainless steel. But the, the whole machining process is uh, it's a little messy, but you know it's part of the job. This is what it looks like after we run parts in the in the lathe. We get stuck with a bunch of shavings. It makes a big old mess right here. We're, we're constantly cleaning shavings out of the machine, like constantly. Uh, some of y'all might think that our machines are really dirty. Uh, that's because our machines are getting used. Here's some parts we're running for customers. Uh, this is Delrin. I can't tell you what it is because it's top secret. I would have to kill you if I told you. So. Uh, we'll just say the Delrin flanges. I think we'll go with that flanges. All right, so here's one of our workbenches. Uh, we got some parts we're making for customers. Uh, the lathe work's already been done on these. They're waiting to go in the mill. Uh, we got some threaded shafts for a customer. We can't tell you what they're for, but we'll just call them threaded shafts. Uh, we got some other parts, random parts laying around from a big job we just finished. Uh, these were made out of 304 stainless steel. I can't tell you what it's for, but it's a, it's a cool looking part. There's a lot of work. Got a lot of top secret stuff around here. I can't really tell you what it's for, but uh, yeah, so we, we made these. Look pretty cool. Pretty happy with it. What's up, Bruce? Where are you going? Oh, wait, you're hungry, man. Alright, so... Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show you is our awesome tool collection for our mill. So, this... Oops. So these are our Cat 40 tool holders. So these go in the mill spindle, and we have a we have a nice little collection of them for, for different applications, uh, for reach and for clearance and different size uh, collets for different tools. Um, so some of the main ones we use. This is a uh, this is a face mill we use. Uh, we got some indexable in mills, some taps, this is a saw, this is actually a saw blade I use for the CNC. Uh, this is a spade drill, this is, this is our indicator, this is a center drill, a indexable uh, mill cutter, another one. So we have a nice collection here, we got more over here. Uh, this is a big ass roughing in the mill, chamfer tool, uh, some, uh, some, uh, in mills used for plastic and aluminum. So we got a nice little collection here. Uh, you can never have enough Cat 40 holders. This is our bitch grinder and our belt sander. We use this for uh, sanding the, the edges off of burrs, of parts. We use this to uh, sand the, uh, the sharp burrs off the edge of parts, all kinds, we do all kinds of stuff. Uh, a lot of times I'll use this uh, bench grinder when I don't have the bolt the right length. I'll actually just grind it down. It's a little dirty, it gets dusty over here. This is a... Uh, Cool little spider web that's been getting bigger and bigger over over the year. 
can't wait to see how this turns out. Maybe a spider in there. Uh, I haven't even checked yet. Uh, we get a lot of spiders in our shop. So this is our fire extinguisher in case we uh, accidentally start a fire and we, you know, you know, we put it out so we don't burn the shop down. 